are too high this November to stay silent. And this is a painful decision, but a necessary one if we were to stop our democracy be, from being trampled on by Trump. He says he needed to speak out after seeing the president's debate performance Thursday and reading the Supreme Court's ruling granting former President Donald Trump immunity from some criminal prosecution. Doggett says this is not about age. I'm more concerned about what I saw and what the American people have seen in recent months. We get it. The president uh, did not have a great night. The White House says the president had a cold that night and he's staying in this race. He knows how to do the job. That message echoed by other top Democrats. We've worked hard together for four years and delivered a lot for America and for central New York and for Biden. But to ease some concerns, the president's not up for another four years. Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse says they need to have a more aggressive campaign tone. He needs to show people in America that he's up for those fights. President Biden plans to speak with Democratic governors today as well as leaders in Congress this week. In Washington, I'm Maddie Beer Temple. And of course, we always talk about supporting local, which is great because Danielle's got another event where we can do just that. Oh, yeah. Do you like sushi? Oh, yeah. Sushi is great. Do you like Mexican food? Absolutely. Then you're going to like this event. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's an interesting combination, mind Jeremiah. Blown. <laughs> yes, you have to be mind blown because it's pretty cool, though. We are going to support local. Like you said, restaurants, uh, lots of them around here. We're going to be able to support them, plus local small businesses who sell unique merchandise and products. I mean, it is just going to to be fun. You're getting a look at the sushi there right now. Guys, this is Latin Night Market event. It's happening at Tsunami Sushi. So we're going to be able to get in on tasting some really good sushi with Latin flavors and a Latin twist, believe it or not. We're going to be able to listen to some amazing music uh, also while we're indulging in that great food. And anyone who goes is also going to be able to check out some local handmade and uh, unique artisan goods and just find things that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Uh, you know, because they're especially made with love by residents of our Rio Grande Valley community. Attendees are going to be able to explore the beauty of our Latin culture right here in the heart of the 956 and really just have fun with special offers. They're even going to have 50% off of certain goods throughout fun uh, prize opportunities on site. So that's pretty cool. And anyone is welcome to uh, attend. And we do encourage everyone to come on out no matter where you live in the 956. It's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. I am excited. It's going to be happening this Saturday from 6 to 10 at the Tsunami Sushi Parking Lot. It's uh, That is actually off of Corneration Boulevard in Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Now it is free to attend and you can check out all events in Edinburgh for everything else you're going to need to know so that you can head on out there. Okay, well, we know that Jeremiah likes both of these. Brianna, do you like Latin food and uh, sushi? Oh, I love sushi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can eat it every day. I love it. Every day? Yeah, I'm a really big fan. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa. And of course, I like Mexican food. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is your thing. It is my thing. Yeah. yeah. What uh, is your favorite like type of roll or like you like to eat? Uh, sushi wise? Well, I always go to Komori's or oh. Mori's. I feel like those two are the top sushi places here in the valley. Mm -hmm. And I always get either the Fiji roll or the earth roll, uh, or they have a, uh, I think like a shrimp rock. She roll. knows her stuff. Yeah. And there's also like a Hachito roll. <gasps> with there's Hachitos on the roll. No yeah. Way. Okay. Yeah. What about you? What do you usually get? Or where do you go? HEB. Oh, you know what? Yeah, HEB has the, the hot Cheeto rolls too. Do they? Yeah, oh yeah. I don't think they'll do that. I don't like chips. <laughs> chips, chips. <gasps> what? Ooh. What? Yeah, I don't but they're chips. like crushed. Mm. So it's just like a powder. Mm. And it's I'm hot. Learning so much about Jeremiah this year. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your what a weirdo. shrimp tempura. <laughs> oh, okay. I do basic, like that. Okay. You know. you know, I think that's what it was the shrimp tempura. From Mori's? From Kamori's, yeah. I need to go there. It's really good. You haven't gone? Mm -mm. There's you like a ton across funny. the valley. Oh, well, I need to go. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's also um, a local sushi and ramen place called Yasuki. <gasps> mm -hmm. And like their an sushi expert. is really good. It's a Macallan. Yum. Mm -hmm. Danielle, yourself? <laughs> no, no sushi for me, but I do like Latin food, and so that's what interests me here. Oh. Mm. And the shopping. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Supporting local. That's yeah. what we love here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And if you're planning to go to this event or any other events these next couple of days, because it is 4th of July week weekend, conditions are going to be pretty great. But remember, we have to keep monitoring the weather these next couple of days because a lot of things could.